Hey, what's up guys? Sonic so is better you guys the finale of our playthrough of Super Mario 3D World for the Nintendo Switch. So in the last video, we did World 7, which is World Castle. We are at World 8, which is World Bowser. As we are nearing the final fight with the Koopa King himself, who is like I said, took a page out of Eggman's book and built his own little theme park up here. But anyways, on to the first level, which is Spiky Spike Bridge. Yeah, almost time to a little too well, I guess. Oh, shoot, yeah, I come. Completely missed time that long ago. Yeah, Toad almost choked there. There's actually like a superstar over there. Well, anyways, that's it for the first stage, Spiky Spike Bridge. So yeah, just heads up in case you guys could probably already tell by the link, but this video is probably going to be pretty lengthy. Would not be surprised if this video is almost an hour long. We'll take the three extra lives, though. <laughs> this second level, though. Plessy's Doom Downhill. Mm -hmm. Getting green stars in this stage can be a little annoying. It was for me when I went through it the first time. It was there because we just missed one, so so sorry, cat suit. But <laughs> adios, mi amigo. No, what the heck? See, it's so dumb. Man. 
Yeah. Most likely for the majority of them, I think the highest we've been is like 72 or 73 last. Because right when we get that pot, we reach a spot where we either keep dying or just keep missing stuff. We don't have to combo anything either. Hit the thing! Oh my gosh, not playing this game, dude. Can you just hop up there? There we go, finally. Huh, are you freaking kidding me? There's no way should have bumped you that hard that it just knocked you off like that. <laughs> Don't you dare. Here, plus he's downhill or doom downhill, I should probably say. Cookie Cog Works. That's really cute. Just as I kind of expected. Fine. Yeesh. Wow, what a whiff from Mario. Are you serious, friend? Oh my gosh, she's gonna be one of those videos. Come on.
Hold on, I think Marcelo Zuna just hit a home run. Yes, he did actually. Finally. Let's take the. Never mind. What, huh? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to need some proof as to where Mario actually got touched there. You're probably like, oh, you missed one. Don't touch the old home, Mario. Wait, huh? What the? Oh my god, why did I do this? It's so dumb. I'm playing so stupid right now. I'm, are you freaking kidding me? What? I even hit the crouch button. <laughs> oh my gosh. You're not about to sit here and tell me that either. Nope. Yeah, I got hit that time. Go, dude. Dang. There you go, Mario. You better hit the top of that. We're fighting. Actually, this one even has a toad house, does it? If it is, it's not in use. Oh, this bro got some. But there's no way I use them all, dude. Anyways, on to the trailer, which is the Bowser Express. You're not just going to suddenly just give Toad love. Hey, come here, guys. Really?
I, I was about to say You gonna clutch it, little man? What the? Oh my god! Uh, this jump is so bad! So bad! Get down in the pipe, Toad. Learn how to jump. That, I mean, I had the freaking. I've done that before. Bowser Express. The toad making it twice as hard as it needed to be. Moving on to Footlight Lane. On the upper deck now, pretty much.
shoot. Oh boy, Ouija. Jump bells us out there. There we go. That's it for Footlight Lane. Deep Water Dungeon. And this is another one of the more dislike levels in this game. Personally, I don't mind it. It's not too, too bad. This we're going to say this because we're actually going to need that to get I think maybe I think it's actually get all three green stars. Cap Mario again. I kind of do like the cat suit more, I'm not going to lie. Thank <laughs> you. 
And there we go. That is it for Deep Water Dungeon. So I'm moving on to this sixth level, uh, Beam the Dark. We're actually going to have to use Luigi for this in order to get the uh, stamp, so. No randomizer this time. We need to use the light box. Yes, we can kill the boos and peepas if we can just put the light on them for long enough. Also, I'm going to collect the third green star without taking any damage, or without waiting a whole lot of time. You can just you can try to save the light box. It does get kind of hectic toward the end of the stage, so. She almost jumped way too early right there. Gotta get ready to jump right here. Wow, and Luigi just completely effed that up. Not good job. Good job, Luigi. I gotta die because of that. Or not make you. Since I really the 71 72, we just start messing up. I knew I was gonna box it somehow. Bro! Freaking look, Luigi! I'm not doing this for no freaking reason. I just knocked off the top of my control. No, no, no. You just made me burn the one item I have to use to collect. Don't you go inside that door. Die. What? Oh, God. Look in the direction I'm putting the control stick, dude. Why is it so hard for you, man? Jeez. I'm looking, I'm turning the thing right. Don't look left, you idiot. So stupid. So freaking dumb. I mean, what was so hard about that? I wanted explanation. Gotta be Let's Play first.
Yes, this is where a pair of bones annoy the absolute hell out of you. And if you don't have the light box, you'll worry about freaking people coming after you too. Frick you, dude! Frick you, that's all I got to say. Now get out of there. But right, it's over with. The next time, Luigi can learn how to aim box. Mystery House Claw Climb. I actually really like this Mystery House. This was actually a lot of fun. But it does actually with all the cat suit. And back we had up. Uh, this is the wrong one from the front of And with the added speed of the characters, it actually makes this stage a lot more difficult because this is one of these stages. Especially with Toad. I guess lucky for us though, we're playing with the slowest character in the game right now, so... I guess the randomizer was nice to us. I think actually, yeah, I kind of thought so. Actually, give us a tanuki suit for this level. What's that peach with your extra float? What's about to make this really hard is going for the damn. 
I freaking landed it too, but it's just one of those you just don't think you did. But we already got the stamp, so we're good. Get your explosive diarrhea off of these coins, my boys. Bingo! It for Rumblum Inferno. Yes, that's right. Before we actually do get to go fight Bowser, you're not have to fight not only one boss, but two. So you did get everything. First of all, multi boss blobs encore. Yeah, only this time, besides being a different color, instead of being like, yeah, he's gold, and he has these rings that come up. Made me kill one of my clones, you scumbag. Look out. Even though you're all going to die when we pretty much touch the flagpole anyways. I mean, he was coming. Bingo. to World 8B Histocrat Return. So I guess this means either Peach or Mario are going to fight against Bowser.
So I guess Histocrat's still recovering, so we gotta go up, up against either a female version of himself, or this is his significant other, if you will. Mm. And she can breathe fire. Dang, I want to go through. Oh, shoot. Before we actually walk up here, I'm going to do go to the bathroom. So I'll be back in just a second. Alrighty then, that's better. So now it's time for us to move on here. Need 100 stars. We've collected every green star up to this point. You better not prove me wrong, game. Well, but, you know, obviously besides the level we're about to go into, that's every top of every goal pool and got every stamp up to this point. What the? We missed the stamp. Can't let that slide. Okay, I found it. It will be right here. Okay, so now I'll see you guys at the other level. My boy, your eyes is ready to roll. Now, let's try this again, shall we? We have everything from every other level. That is correct. Onto the final castle of the game, the Great Tower of Bowserwing. Who's getting the honor? Our boy Toad. You know, I was always like doing that because it actually honks the horn. But yo, here we go, guys. The last level of the game. Well, I mean, the last main line, the main story level of the game. It's not the actual last level of the game. Because remember, this is a 100% walkthrough. So even after we defeat Bowser, this playthrough will not be over. We want to come down here, almost die. Almost die twice. Let me reword that. The second one is actually going to require us to kill all of these bullies that are on these platforms. One on each one. The cats should make this a little bit easier than it would be from the And then you 
actually collect the last one during the boss. And you don't actually directly fight Bowser, it's just a chase. So pretty much, yeah, it, it, it pretty much is, when it comes to Final Boss, it takes a page out of the books of obviously its predecessor Super Mario 3D Land. As well as new Super Mario Bros. Wii, which that's not a bad thing. I mean, I kind of don't really like the battles. I don't really like the Mario Final Boss where you just have to indirectly fight Bowser. I like when you like actually like inflict damage on him. Okay, it was actually the wrong Bowser that I was kind of putting on. But yeah, I like it better more like you can actually attack Bowser, not just to chase him. I mean, eventually we're going to attack him in a way, obviously. Just not in the way you would think a Final Boss should go. And my passivities it becomes me Alzer. And yes, here we go, guys. The final battle has begun. And make sure not to die at this part because you will have to do the level over again. Because we have not touched checkpoint flag. You would think the game would be nice enough to do that, but it's not. fast because Bowser is going to come down or in this case he's going to slide down oh my I forgot stupid see make sure you do the whole freaking level now let's try this again Whew, also, I farted and it smells really bad. It don't smell that bad, but it smells. It don't smell good. And you're gonna wait. Dang, I about overran that too. Guess I should wait right here, shouldn't I? Yeah. I don't know if it's going to be 30 years for the camera to pan. <clears throat> but obviously, it can't be that easy. Okay, this tower is so freaking tall, it rises above the storm. And yes, Meowser taps into the double cherry, so Bowser, oh, I'm sorry, Meowser has cloned himself. Remember when I first heard this song right here? Like, this was like one of the greatest things I'd ever heard. Still is one of my favorite tracks in this game. Okay, so obviously, you know, as a second phase of a final boss, obviously things get harder. What the frick, Toads? Oh my gosh. Freaking jump. Makes me die on the inside. I don't even want to stay right here. Yikers! All right, take off. The camera, the camera pans incredibly slowly, so you can't go at your pace. You have to go at what the camera says you can go at. Oh, uh, meows are just rage you and clones bust through the wall. And also, don't run too fast because you'll run right off and die. I don't know if we can count that as an attack. 
But yo, there we go. We have defeated Meowser. Jump, slide down the gold pole, and let's wrap it up, boys. There we go. We have completed the main part of Super Mario 3D World. So anyways, I guess I should give my opinion while this excellent music plays in the background. Obviously, I don't really think a lot of people really care about this game just because of the fact that it was on the Wii U. And I'm pretty sure before it actually got ported to the Switch, a lot of people probably didn't play this game. It's good. It's really good. If you like Super Mario 3D Land, you're going to love Super Mario 3D World. You really are. Like, I like Super Mario. I love Super Mario 3D Land. This game, obviously, as the sequel to 3D Land, is, you know, Super Mario 3D Land 2.0. Now, yeah, sure, it doesn't have, like, 16 worlds in that game, you can't express it, because this world only has 12. Obviously, we still have to do... Oh, wait. Oh, wait. yeah, it does. Because we just have to do four more worlds, which are bonus worlds. But, yes, this game is amazing. If you didn't get it for the Wii, you need to get it for the Switch because this is a really good Mario game. Well, I'm sorry. That was a stupid question. Just about every Mario game is good. You skip this one on the Wii U, pick it up for the Switch. You won't regret it, I promise. Best time for completing courses will now be displayed. guys that's going to go in and wrap it up for this video so next time we're going to go see what in the world the Sprixies are trying to or what they're trying to do over there as if you don't as pretty much from here on out it's just pretty much just post game and us you know going through the bonus world star mushroom flower and crown of course for crown is going to take a while to get to at least in the regular world, at least in worlds 1 through 8, we have collected everything. I'll just have to go through and play most of the stages with the same characters over and over again. We get done world flower. Not looking forward to that, but coming next time, like I said, we're in a new world. Also unlocking a new character. I'm pretty sure almost all of you know what it is. But anyway, that's all we got for this. 
If you guys liked it, make sure to like button and subscribe to my channel. Helps out, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.